Uh, hi guys, this is um, Shannon Baker. I'm from uh, I'm the creator of uh, Inside the Aluminum Tube, an aviation history podcast. And today I'm going to show you guys how I do the basic edits on um, Audacity. Now, before I start, I want to say that I use a Scarlett Two uh, I Four uh, mic. I use or mixer. I use these two mics. This is a, an an ND an EV ND seventy five. This is an old school um, ND. 257 Bravo is both really quality mics. This one's a lot more expensive than this one, but I really can't tell too much of a difference. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you real quickly how I split the tracks and what I do to record and, and then maybe I can help somebody out. So, all right, so come on over here and we'll look at the software. So here's my file. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And please ignore the bird in the background. Okay, so here's the original audio file, and I just recorded it as a stereo track. So one, one uh, microphone was the left, one one's the right. So now you see the audio track here. All right, so this, the top one is my co-host, the bottom one is me. I adjusted the gains on the Scarlett, um, and you can see that the sound signature is pretty much the same, and it looks like she's about the same volume as I am. Okay, so now what I do is I go to audio track over here. I'll go to audio track and I will select it and I will say split stereo track. Okay, now this is, she's on her own track, this is her, this is me. And now I'm able to edit these separately. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll take the slider and I'll move the slider into the center and that makes her mono. And then, and then I'll move this one into the center and that makes, her, uh, that makes me mono. And remember this one's me and this one's her. And then, um, and then what I'll do is I will, um, if I want to edit, I will go ahead and always select both tracks at the same time to delete. If I select one track, I'll show you what happens in a second. So when you want to clip out, you always select both tracks, hit delete, and now both tracks, give it a second, will go away. Okay, now I'm going to edit and undo that. Now, if I select one track by accident, all right, so let me say I say, oh, I, I want to just have, I just want to clip out this little piece that she said. So I take this and I delete it. It just moved this, it moved her voice over my voice. So that's called out of sync. So you don't want to do that. So then I will edit, undo that. Okay, now, once you get the edit the way you want it, go to effect. And here's the ones I use. I use amplify if I want to get rid of any excess noise in either track and I'll just go amplify zero and that will mute it. Okay, um, I use compressor um, and that's gonna bring everything down to the same level, get rid of the highs. I also use normalize and that will bring, get rid of the highs and lows if there's something that's really uh, kind of crazy. Um, noise reduction, I always get a sound signature in the room. Take it for 15, 10, 15 seconds apply the noise reduction filter, it's really gonna make it sound good. And now for me, because I have such a low voice, I can take just my track or both tracks, and one of the effects I apply is the high pass filter, and I apply it at 90, I cut out everything below 90 hertz. And honestly, that's about it. It sounds natural, it sounds good. Um, swing back around and I'll finish the video. Anyway, um, thanks for listening. I hope I helped somebody and yeah, that's about it.